those who have a midheaven in Aries. Okay, this is your reading for what career should you pursue. Now, let me just tell you how this is going to kind of go down so you understand before you actually get to the reading. Um, first of all, this is based on your midheaven sign and your midheaven sign only. If you do not know what your midheaven sign is or your MC sign, look to the calculator link I have below. Go find out what your MC or midheaven sign is. I believe it's referred to as an MC in there. And then come back and check out what video is right for you, okay? Um, I have a, these videos are going to be up for all time. I just decided to do them now because we, we have, we're entering into a troubling economy and I thought it would be a good time to launch these, but you can come back to these at any time that you want to look at other career options. Um, I have a, I have a background in market marketing and business. Um, so I've actually advised many people in regards to career paths, business opportunities, and also startup companies. Um, I have three businesses of my own. So I'm combining this with your midheaven sign, which actually drives your career goals to kind of make this like trifecta of awesomeness. Alrighty. Uh, the general reading is going to be, well, I'm going to read what your traits are for your midheaven. And then I'm going to lay out a spread. And in that, it's going to tell us where you are now, what your new strategy should be, and how your goals will manifest themselves. Then I'm going to leave a Vimeo link below like I always do, and that will be about what your dream job is to pursue. You're going to have three options in that, okay? I'll have an option one, an option two, and option three that is going to be very specific to a certain field, okay? And, and we'll do other things in that video. And lastly, if you want a personal reading, um, all you have to do is email me. My email is below, and I would actually incorporate your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign in conjunction with your midheaven, and we would do this wonderful career spread that was specific to you, okay? So let's get to the reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries, midheavens, what do you see? What did he need to know? Hold on a minute. I just saw that my notes are my notes are awry. What did they need to know in regards to what career they should pursue? Can you please show us where they are now? What their strategy should be and how their goals will manifest, their career goals will manifest. Any messages you have for Aries Midheaven would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. Aries, Midheavens, what do you see? What do they need to know in regards to what career they should pursue? Can you please show us where Aries... Oh, oh. <laughs> this is a new reading to me, so I'm kind of like, as I go along, um, never mind. Okay, I got to tell you what your traits are. So if your Midheaven is an Aries, um, you navigate your career path with a very clear direction and dismiss unnecessary distractions, okay? You're inclined to be in an area of self-employment or leadership, and you're very adept at keeping track of progress in your goals, or you track your progress in regards to your goals. Uh, your career should offer the ability to expand and grow on your own, the chance to lead others or self-lead, and the chance to show your heroic qualities. You thrive without a strict routine and can work well under noisy or very difficult conditions. You dream often of being a trailblazer in your career field. You can do anything as long as it allows you to fulfill your sense of adventure in or outside of the workplace. Alrighty? So, again, let's see. <laughs> can you please show us where Aries bid heavens are now in their career? We have the Ace of Cups and the Upright. Can you please show them what their strategy should be regarding their career? What should their strategy be? We have the Two of Wands and the Upright. Oh, is there something else there out there for you, huh? Um, can you So sorry about that. And the final card that I pulled uh, was the Six of Cups in the position of how your goals manifest, your career goals manifest themselves, okay? So we're starting off with the Ace of Cups here, and I will be pulling clarifiers. Ace of Cups here in regards to where you are right now. I actually think you're pretty happy where you are right now. Um... I mean, you're, you're fulfilled, you're content, your cup runneth over, whatever you are doing now in your career, it is emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, and and it's a, it can be fairly new. It sounds, you might have just started this new position um, and it has a lot of possibilities available to it. it. Seems like it has a lot of maybe creative direction to it also. So, I mean, it seems like you're okay where you are right now. Um, 
I'm still seeing that you're wondering if there's something better out there. So we'll get to that. Why is the Ace of Cups here in the upright for Aries in the heavens? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Ace of Cups for Aries mid heavens. Who is this person? What is this energy? And why are my cards turned around? <laughs> Aries mid heaven. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Queen of Wands are reversed. Queen of Cups are reversed. Are, are there are people around you that you do not like working with. I see a couple of people who, okay, so this could be um, a couple of things. It could be um, the colleagues that you're working with. You're not really happy with them. I'll describe the personalities to you and you you figure out whether it's, <laughs> whether this resonates for you or not. Um, one of one of the people is really kind of pushy. They kind of push their agenda through. They can't think like outside of the box. They want their stuff kind of their way. They can be resentful. They can be petty. Um, and the other person is just a loose cannon when it comes to their emotions. Their emotions are all over the place. You don't know what to expect to the, from them on the day to day. A lot of times they can be like vindictive and spiteful and jealous and all this other stuff. So um, I think that being around these people is actually what is making you think of other opportunities that are out there for you because we have the three of wands here and I see you looking out and considering all these opportunities that are out there someplace else you could be working. It might be because these two people are getting on your last nerves. Um, I mean, the other scenario, but I, I, I absolutely think that's for a very small percentage of you. I think you don't feel very confident. Um, in your current place that you're in and that also you're uncertain in regards to or you have a hard time kind of controlling your emotions um you know within the workplace so but i think it's a second one i think there's two people around you two colleagues people that you work with and they're just getting on your nerves um could be bosses colleague you know whatever employees and you're really kind of considering getting out of there and it's a shame because it seems like you just got there and it seems like it it seems like a fulfilling opportunity to you so the strategy here they're kind of telling you is to consider don't take action right now with the two of wands it's kind of i mean this guy's just on the balcony looking out there to see what's going on but he's not really doing anything and he's kind of wondering well, should i stay here how long should i stay here for or should i go out and see what the world has to offer me and the thing about the two of wands is that it's a card of inaction and waiting for um how things are going to turn out or what's going to go on before you decide to make a decision and you know, as of right now, when these cards are being read, the climate is very kind of wishy-washy in regards to economy, but you can come back and look at these anytime and um, it's going to be the same thing. So this is you kind of deciding, should you go out there? Should you take the risk to kind of go out there and, and kind of fleshing everything out? I really feel like those people get on your nerves though. Okay. Why is, <laughs> why is the two of wands here in the upright? No. Okay. There's some kind of past position that you had that you can't let go of. You're actually thinking about it very nostalgically. You're thinking of someplace else that you actually worked. Um, and they're saying you actually might want to think about that because you are thinking about how much better it was there. You are thinking about how um, you were appreciated there. We have the Six of Wands here. So people kind of looked up to you. They appreciated you. They liked how you carried yourself. And you're kind of thinking back to um, whatever that job was, or they're telling you to think back to it, um, to a time when you were appreciated. And we have a lover's card here in the upright. Lover's card is actually about a decision that has a catch associated with it. Um, that's the card of Gemini, if it resonates. So you have two cards of decision here, and they're telling you you're going to have to decide something. Um, and it's not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be easy decision for you to make um, in regards to this. But I do feel like you had a better connection in your past in a past um, employment and you're thinking about it or you're thinking about going back to it and with the six of cups in the upright that's exactly what's being spoken about here because the six of cups is about employment you had previously that was really familiar to you that was really creative um you know you're thinking about past money how you got paid better um how you worked well the people that um, you worked with are almost like you know friends to you friendships real a real innocent kind of workplace so um you're, you're thinking fondly of that and you're, you might leave this current position because of that. Why is the Six of Cups here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. Yeah, this is the way. So, um, yeah, because 
The Ace of Swords is telling you to move forward. Ace of Swords is telling you to move forward and do it, um, to have a very clear and concise direction. This is a direction that you want to go in. If it's not something from your past, you want something very similar to what you used to, where you used to work at in the past or a situation that you used to work out in the past where you felt very comfortable and very at home. Um, you like the vibe, you like the people that were around. Um, because the people we are around right now here we have another character this page of pentacles he's somebody who's really selfish and really entitled this is someone who's like around the office and they kind of feel like they can do what they want and then you sit by and you watch as they like get rewarded it's either that type of person or it's just somebody not good at handling money um they're, they're just not they're terrible at it and and just being in this situation um leaves you with the star card in reverse that's the card of aquarius just feeling like there's no hope really depressed like um this really is kind of challenging you so i think that the continuation of the situation you're in is going to cause you to actually forge forward to um the the employment that i kind of spoke of or you might connect with somebody that you worked with before and be like hey how are you doing are you hiring what's going on you know I, i'm not in a good uh environment right now yada 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 and you might reconnect with them okay so that ends this reading. Uh, click on the link below. That'll be for what is your dream job. I will present three options to you that you could actually pursue based on your midheaven. Um, and if you would like to consider a personal reading where I would incorporate your sun moon, your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign along with your midheaven and we do a big like glorious career spread. Um, that would be great also. Just send me an email. It's down below. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Good luck in regards to your career. Bye.